Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Oswaldo back here with us for his third treatment uh, following a motor vehicle accident that he was involved in. And he has injuries in his cervical, thoracic, lumbar spine, and pelvis that is preventing him from doing his normal everyday activities of living both at home and work, especially bending, lifting, twisting activities, taking care of his toddler and helping him with chores around the house. So when we treat our personal injury patients, we find out first of all what their injuries are and where they have their problems. And most of these are soft tissue in nature, meaning muscles and ligaments have been stretched and torn beyond their normal ranges of motion, which tears those microscopically. They bleed, they get inflamed, they hurt. And our job is to put him back in place structurally and biomechanically so that he has restores normal joint range of motion and therefore also heals those soft tissues in a more normal type of healing rather than adverse scar tissue and fibrotic adhesions forming. So we're going to show you how we do his third adjustment today. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me, Oswaldo. And then neutral. Now, see he's got some limited range of motion there. Did that feel tight going forward and backwards? Mm -hmm. He's still a little bit right on the x-axis too, so he's forward head translation and then a little bit to the right translation. Pelvis is also translated to the right of center. He has left less room over on the right side than he does the left. So to maximize his joint range of motion, I'm going to decompress him first, which you all have come to affectionately know as the ring dinger. Let's go ahead and land you back here. And yes, this is absolutely good for patients who have been involved in motor vehicle accidents, who have sustained injuries in their cervical, thoracic, lumbar spine, and pelvis, because it institutes a maximum normal joint range of motion and it helps the ligaments heal up along the lines of tension and stress being put on them so that they heal up with less fibrotic adhesions and scar tissue. So it helps improve long-term function. Now you can see he's got normal patellar reflexes before. There we go. So I'm going to wrap this wet towel around his occiput and his mandible. Take a nice deep breath in. Let all year out. There we go. Nice smooth pull. Did you feel that all the way down, Oswaldo? Yes. Okay. But it didn't hurt as bad as the first one did. Now see, he's still kicking, so he's good. So we're going to get in here. Now just let me have your neck. Palmer Diversified Cervical Rotary Brake. There you go, perfect both ways. Now he's got full joint range of motion in his cervical spine in all three dimensions, on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Okay, Oswaldo, let's come over here and have you come on your tummy for me next, please, sir. I didn't make that. Some days I'm on, some days I'm not, but I am on today. Legs are even, that's a good start. And they stay pretty much even, right? When it gets a little short, does that tighten up a little bit in your little back? Mm -hmm. Yep. So that tells me that he's still got a little distortion in his right SI joint here. Forty-five degree angle down and out, and then the sacrum is the middle triangular shape bone. We're adjusting that straight superior to inferior, taking that away from L5, so it opens up the L5 S1 nerve root. There's L5, L4, L3, L2. And L1. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just keep breathing normal. There we go. Good movement. Okay, keep breathing for me, I swallow. 
still feel one more right there. Okay. Now let's see if your legs stay even. Yep, they're even now. And they stay that way. Did that feel easier that time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we got a new turbonator with the brand new big old play ball for the cats that we used to build it. thoracic and lumbosacral and thoracolumbar injuries and then Joseph's going to work on him in even more detail manual therapy after I get done now I'm adjusting the cervical curve back into a normal cervical lordosis with PDA adjusting in his cervical spine using the drop piece okay let's turn you on your back now swallow and I'm adjusting those along the lines of the joints of the set themselves. Yep. Now we're going to help put the curve back in his neck a little bit more. Good. There. Okay, good. I'll slide you straight down a little bit. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to line up his AC joints and his costoclavicular joint and sternoclavicular joint AC joints first this is the sternoclavicular joint that I'm doing right now right where the clavicle or the collarbone meets the sternum if I can get this table stand up there we go now we're going to adjust the costal sternal joints, which are usually pretty sore at first when we get started adjusting a patient who's been involved in a rear end whiplash type of an accident. Okay, you can relax your hands on your tummy there, Waldo. And relax this. There you go. You feel that in your knee and your back? Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Same thing there. Good. Let's have you sit up face toward Joseph for me, please, sir. Alright, remember to keep that chin up. That's the biggest problem that most patients have is they fall back into that forward head posture. Just let your shoulder go in. Okay, same here, let it go in. See that grinding in there? Mm-hmm. There we go. When you got injured, were both hands on the wheel and jammed up your shoulders? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. I know when I was rear-ended, Back in 1992, it hyperextended both of my wrists and injured my wrist too. So you can get ligament injuries anywhere: sprained neck, sprained ankle, sprained wrist, elbow, shoulders, anywhere. And those are very painful injuries if you've ever sprained any joint. I'll put a stand up here in front of you. They heal normally between six and eight weeks, but can take up to a year or more. Let's have you flex your head forward and then backwards. We try to get as much done as fast as possible and let the patient heal up in a normal biomechanical position. Shift your pelvis straight left now. Yeah, don't twist, just shift. No, you're twisting. Shift left. No, shift your pelvis this way. Oh, sorry. There you go. There we go. Keep it shifted left. There you go. See, when you have your biomechanics in a 
mirror image when I adjust your atlas, it sends information into your cerebellum where you train your brain how to hold you in place. So let's have you flex forward and backwards again. This should feel smoother, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now look at your posture. See your square across your shoulders, your arms are at your sides, and you got equal spacing down here now. Mm -hmm. Very good. You were referred to us uh, for your injuries. And so what would you tell our YouTube subscribers that how it is to be treated here for automobile accident injuries? Uh, it's very different from, I've gone to a chiropractor before and this feels a lot better. And you feel like you're getting better from yes. your injuries already on your third visit? Mm -hmm. But we still got a ways to go. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see you next time.